Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is set window title. Let me run through my quick little example. For this example, I need to actually fire up a standalone game. So let me go ahead and save and let it run. It's going to fire up my example project. Now, if we look in the top left corner, we'll notice the name of my project is 64 bit PC D3D SM5. Awesome title, right? But if we hit do something, now the title of my game is Awesome Game Name. So let's look at the note, and hopefully it's pretty simple to figure out. It's a really simple note. It's simply called Set Window Title. We can type in Set Window Title, and you're going to find it under Utilities, and it simply takes in a title, a text reference. In this case, I'm making a literal text called Awesome Game Name. We could call it Super Example Bot. And I'm simply setting the window title. And that's all I'm doing. You will notice though, if I go ahead and let's go ahead and run it in selected viewport, nothing's going to happen. Let's run it in a plain editor other window. You'll notice in here, game preview standalone, nothing happens. It's only in the actual full package project, which is why our standalone game is going to be required because it kind of fake packages it and makes a standalone game. So now when we set the title, we get super example bot. Now there's nothing really fancy here. Inside of your project settings, you have things in here such as your titles, your project names, your game names, descriptions, things like that. Project displayed title. So you can go ahead and set these automatically, but maybe you want to just screw with your player while they're playing and change the window title. So maybe it's a hint inside of a puzzle game or something like that. It's kind of nice to be able to set it if you want to, and you can set it here. It's useful for debugging purposes. If you noticed, a lot of games like EverQuest 2, Warcraft, things that are online and revisional, they will put the version number, minor major versions, things like that inside the title. Most players won't notice this because they're going to run it full screen anyways. But it's useful for if they need a screenshot or dump information, it's useful to know which version of the game the player is using. So you can use it for whatever you want. You can just make something weird and make it as a put a put a code in there and maybe someone will never notice. So that is our set window title node. Remember, it's only going to work on your packaged game or if you're testing it in standalone mode. And it's useful to set the window title.